Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're reviewing the Holystone HS700D. So let's get into the review. So the Holystone HS700D is just an upgraded version of the original Holystone HS700. It's obviously a GPS quadcopter. Now it has a 22 minute advertised flight time with a range of roughly 2200 feet. Now, while looking at the drone, the only real noticeable differences between the old one and this new one right here is the camera. The camera is different, and this one also has a power button right here, so you can turn your quadcopter on and off. Originally, right when you put your battery in to the old one, it turned on. With this one, you can leave your battery in, and there's a power button. Here's what the charger looks like right here. And as you can see, I have three batteries on me, so that should mean 66 minutes of flight time, which I doubt we'll get, but it's advertised at 22 minutes, which is already kind of iffy, you know, on the flight time. The batteries do take a long time to charge, though. It's f roughly five hours, so that's going to take some time. Um, you plug this into the wall outlet, and this middle dot should be red. And then when it's charging, the, the two side dots will be flashing green. And when it's fully charged, it will be solid green. You see this one has two lines, and this one has one line. And it corresponds over here to two lines and one line. You get prop guards with this. I mean, I'm not going to put them on. I don't think it looks that great. But if you're a beginner, that's a nice little feature for you. Personally, I'm experienced enough to where I don't need prop guards while flying my drone, but, you know, for first-time flyers, that's a nice little feature that they include. When buying this drone, you get multiple accessories, like extra propellers. You see, I need to put my second set of blades on because these ones are kind of old because I've been flying this thing for a while. Um, what else do you get? You get a book to keep track of your flights. Obviously, the controller to go along with a few other accessories. So here's the controller right here. As you can see, I like it a lot. It's got a lot of features. You have a feature right here to take photos. You can also take videos. It has auto takeoff and auto landing. Um, there's a lock for the motors. And um, you can return to home. And um, you can turn off GPS or turn it on. And it has headless mode. A uh, quick little note to you need, yeah, you need to remember with this drone is to arm the motors. You push the sticks down and in like this. That will arm the motor so they'll start spinning around. And to land it, um, you just need to hold this down right here. That's all you need to do. A uh, neat little feature that um, is kind of cool is that you can remove these uh, landing legs. So I guess if you're trying to move this thing around, it's easy because... Um, it's very portable. You can take it apart. At least the landing legs off. And I mean you can take the camera off too, but I'm not gonna do that. The camera is anti-jello mounted and is remote tilt adjustable from zero to 90 degrees. It records video at 30 frames per second with a 2K resolution. Now it's recommended for this drone that you use a class 10 SD card or higher it only uses micro SD cards, so that's another thing. Um, anything higher than a 32 gigabyte SD card won't work. So I'll be using today, for today's flight test, a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So some final facts before we take this thing out for the flight test is that you can purchase this in multiple colors. I think you can get it. This is the gray version right here, obviously. Um, there's a white version and a black version that you can get. This quad also has brushless motors, and um, it's actually a pretty well built quad. As you can see, it's very nicely built. It's not like the the quad isn't like the perfect quad or anything, but it's pretty well built. All right, so we're here at the park. Sorry if the audio quality isn't too good. I'm not using my microphone right now, but just remember that this remote right here takes four double a batteries but that's really all now um let's take this thing for a flight and see how this performs
All right, so I just hit the return to home. So it's let's see where it lands. I took off right around in that area where I placed the suitcase. So let's see how accurate it is. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, you can see it. It's right up there. Originally, I was a little bit concerned by looking at that camera. It made me suspicious and think that the footage was not going to be that great, but it actually was surprisingly well. I mean, it's not perfect or anything, but it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be, and you actually can get some crisp images and decent videos. I mean, this is not a gimbal that doesn't have a gimbal, so it's not going to be super smooth and windy conditions, but if you have a relatively smooth day, your footage is going to be pretty decent. Taking everything into consideration, the price point is pretty fair. It should be around that $200 mark, and it is. So I would definitely recommend picking up this drone. I would not spend anything more than, let's say, $250 on it. That would be kind of expensive. But $200 is a solid, it's a pretty good price for this drone. I will say, if you're buying this drone, you're buying it for its abundance of features like orbit mode, wavepoint, follow me. It has all sorts of features like that and I tested them all out and they all work great. If you're looking for a drone to give you the best possible video or best possible images, it this is not really the drone for you, but it produces decent images and decent video, so that is pretty sweet to go along with all of its features. If you really want that nice camera drone though, you're going to have to spend upwards of 3 to 400 dollars maybe even 500 depending on which drone you're looking at. So that's my take on this Holy Stone HS700D. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.